Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about five interesting facts about Patriot missiles. Remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact one: Patriot is an acronym. You may think because this missile system is built by the United States that they always use names to uh, be patriotic, like F-15 Eagles or um, some other uh, Tomahawk cruise missiles. Right? Some names that resonates with the American people. But in reality, PATRIOT is an acronym. And it's a very interesting acronym. It actually stands for Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target. The Phased Array Radar is really the key component of what makes this system work the way it should. The missiles is another component where it is used to take down enemy incoming enemy missiles. And so therefore, next time someone tells you that Patriot missiles are named after American Patriots, as example, you can correct them and let them know that it's actually two parts, the phased array radar and the missiles or the projectiles that is used to take down enemy missiles coming to attack uh, your position or whoever's operating the Patriot missiles. With that information, it's pretty easy for us to get into the next fact. Fact 2 The Patriot is a multi part system. While the missile always gets the, all the attention, here you can see the phased array radar set or the AN MPQ 53 or 65 65A radar set. And here is other components such as the power station and the trucks that's used to transport the system. Here are also the antenna masts used to broadcast the radar signals in order to intercept enemy targets. The Patriot missile system is not a single one single thing, right? The missiles is really the last stage of this whole system. The first part is the radar and the antennas that are used to track and illuminate the enemy incoming missiles because you can't shoot down what you don't know, right? So what happens is the radar system tracks incoming enemy targets and then you guides the missiles toward those targets to intercept them. This entire multi-part system needs to be forward deployed in enemy front lines where you can intercept enemy incoming missiles. Let's get into the next one. Fact 3. It's multinational. Although it is a US manufactured system, it is actually used worldwide by many different countries. Here you can see countries such as Saudi Arabia, Japan, Spain, Sweden, all operate the Patriot missile system. The missile system is defensive in nature and therefore pretty accepted worldwide to be deployed. Countries such as Greece and Japan have many missile groups deploying the Patriot missile systems. Israel also uses the missile systems to defend against the Hezbollah rockets that are a constant threat in the region. Germany, for example, have deployed the Patriot missile system on its own land and is willing to share it with countries such as Poland to defend against potential Russian invasions. Therefore, the Patriot missile system is a greatly used worldwide global system that multiple countries use to defend themselves. Despite the missile system's expensive price tag, countries are more than willing to pay for it to defend themselves against potential aggressors. The next fact, fact four. The missile system is composed of different missiles. Here is a picture of a Pac-2 missile. And then here is a picture of a Pac-3 missile. Pac-2 and Pac-3 are different generations of Patriot missile systems. For Pac-2, the difference is that it is an older model and therefore not as tactical as the Pac-3. The Pac-2 missile uses a different strategy to bring down the enemy incoming rockets. When the radar tracks an incoming target, what happens is the Pac-2 missile fires 
And then when it gets close to the enemy rocket, it explodes on its own and hoping that the blast radius of this Patriot Pack 2 missile will impact the enemy rocket and bring it down. Pack 3 on the other hand is probably what you might be thinking in your mind, which is once the radar identifies the target and fires the missile, the missile actually tries to hit the target itself instead of trying to explode next to them in hopes to disrupt the missile trajectory. Now let's get into the next and final fact. Fact 5. The accuracy and success rate of the Patriot missile system. This is an important fact. When the US first deployed the missile system in Middle East in Iraq, they claimed a very, very high success rate. This was then disputed by other people. And so the accuracy of the missile system widely varies. If you ask someone in the military, US military, they might say it is 90% accurate. If you ask someone else, they might say it's 50%. Some even quote something like 20 or 30%. Therefore, the true accuracy and precision of these guided missiles is up in question. There is not a single operator that has published definitive results of how accurate it is. And this makes sense, because it's really difficult to track in the fog of war all the incoming missiles and how many Patriot missiles brought them down. In fact, unless you have a view from the top or from space, for example, and you're constantly tracking, there's really no way for you to know exactly which missiles hit which enemy ones. However, I am sure it is better to be with the missile system than without it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And see you next time.